And welcome back to your second lesson with me, Mrs. Love. Today in music, we'll be learning about what beat is, what rhythm is, and then how we use them and put them all together to play along with some music. We're going to actually use our own bodies as instruments today. So in order to do that, we need to learn about each of these things. So what is beat? Well, beat is the heart of the music. It's the steady pulse that you feel in a tune, like your heart beats steady or the clock's ticking is steady. It's the beat you'd naturally clap along or tap your feet to when you hear a tune. Let's do a wee experiment. Put your hand over your heart just now. Can you feel it beating in your chest? Don't worry if you can't. It can be tricky to feel it sometimes, but it is there. Don't worry. Let's just give it a wee helping hand, shall we? I want you to run up and down as fast as you can on the spot for the next 10 seconds. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stop. Now. Put your hand over your heart. Can you feel it beating? I'm guessing it'll be beating quite fast. Your heartbeat is steady. It never stops and neither does the beat of music. Like your heart, it might beat a little bit faster or slower at times, but it just keeps pounding along. Let's have a listen to some music and see if we can hear the beat. I'm going to play three songs that you will be really familiar with. Each of them has a different tempo. Tempo is a word we use to describe the speed that a song plays at or a tune plays at. Each tune, I'm going to ask you to tap out, nod your head, or move about to the beat of the music. Respond to it naturally. Move about in time the way you feel it fits. And then we'll see if you were correct, whether it's fast or slow. So you're deciding whether each clip is fast or slow. So you're deciding with each clip how fast the beat is playing or how slow the beat is. Remember the beat is just like the heartbeat of the music. Here we go. I'm a skyscraper wing, I live on the 19th floor. I'm no going out to play on email. Cause since we've moved to Can Castle, you feel the beat? I'm wasting away. Cause I'm getting one less meal is it slow? every day Oh, you can't can fling you count the pieces out then? of twenty story flats Seven hundred hungry wings, I'll testify to that If it's butter, cheese or jelly, if the breed is plain or pan The odds against it reaching out are ninety ninety one. Okay, I'll stop that there. How did you get on? That was quite a... Fast beat. <laughs> Is that what you were doing? I'm sure it was. Let's try the next little clip. This one is Flower of Scotland.
here's another clip. That was much slower than the Jilly Peace song. Oh, flood of Scotland, when will we see your likes again? So it's very slow. I'm sure that you were swaying from side to side. That's what the music made me want to do. Let's listen to the last one, Three Crows. This is one of my favourites. Crows sat upon the wall, sat upon the wall, sat upon the wall. Three crows you sat upon the wall. Are you bobbing like me? Frosty morning. The first How do you want to move? Was greeting for Fast us or all. slow? Greeting for us all. Greeting for us all. The first crow. Was greeting for us now on a cold and frosty morning. That was kind of a medium tempo, wasn't it? It wasn't quite as fast as the Jilly Peace song. And it wasn't quite as slow as the Flower of Scotland. So there you have it. The beat can be fast or it can be slow in songs. Beat is steady and even, but rhythm. Rhythm is made up of short sounds and long sounds. We use different shapes called notes to show the different lengths of the sounds that can be made. Each note looks a little bit different, so you can tell them apart. If we have a look at them, the first one, the equals one beat, looks a little bit like a golf club. It just has one beat. It's called a crotchet. Ta. The next one is called a minim. It looks like the golf club with a little hole in it. It's worth two beats. Ta ta. Next to that is a note called the semi brief. It's worth four beats. Ta 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 ta. If we had to play them on an instrument, a crotchet would sound like this. Ta. A minimum would sound like ta. And a semi brief for four beats would sound like this. Ta. So a semi brief is a really long note, whereas a crotchet is a short note. An even shorter note is a quaver. That's the little one with the wavy line attached, like a little flag. It's worth half a beat. And if you put two of those together, ta ta, it makes one beat. Normally when we listen to music and a lot of the songs that I'll be using with you, the, the beat is four, which means there are four beats in the bar. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. It might be fast, like we looked at before. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Or it might be slightly slower, just like I counted. When you put notes together in different combinations, they make rhythm and rhythm will fit into the beat of the music. Let me see if I can make it a little bit clearer and easier for you to understand. Here's a rhythm. This is a simple four beat rhythm. You can see the notes are one beat each. Do, 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 do. As a very simple rhythm. There are other combinations though. Have a look at this one. This one, although there are still four beats in the bar, one, two, three, four, 
we can see there are only two notes. Do, do. Listen again. Do, do. Scratch that a little bit. Listen again. Do, do. Each note lasts two beats. So, where do we go from there? Here's this long note, the semi brief. It lasts for four beats. Do, do, do. A nice long note. Finally, here's the tricky one. This is using our half beats. You can see that the counts are different this time. Instead of a steady one, two, three, four, the sound is actually one and two and three and four. It skips along and it gallops along. Here's how it would sound. Do, 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 do. Listen again. Do, 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 do. The last note finishes after the fourth clap. It's time to learn more about this so you can actually play along with the music ourselves with instruments. When you look at a piece of music, it's easy to see all the dots and lines and squiggly bits that all fit together to make the notes of the music. But when you're playing a percussion instrument, your music doesn't always look like that. So today we're focusing on body percussion and body percussion certainly isn't written like that. So I wanted to show you kind of the things that you would normally see if you were picking up a piece of body percussion. What we're using today is really simple images to show you what to do and when to do it. But let's have a look at the basics, will we? First of all, this one here is pretty easy to see. It's a simple clap in time with the music. Below this is a little foot. That just means a stomp. Okay, sometimes you might see two together. That would be a double stomp. Or two hands might be a double clap. Besides, our foot stomp is our knee tap. Simple like that. Again, can be single, double, or even triple sometimes. Down the bottom here, we have a finger click. Single or double. And if you're really clever, maybe you can use two hands. I'll leave that up to you to decide. The last of the symbols is this squiggly line over here. This is actually called a rest. And in music, it means you do nothing on that beat of the bar. So some people to help them keep the rest might nod their head or they might do some kind of movement. But musicians obviously don't do that. They just don't play on the beat. So the more and more you get used to following music, then you'll be able to just leave that beat clear. So you're gonna need some rests in what we're doing today. That's your basics. Anything we do throughout the lesson will be based on this. Shall we put them to use? Yeah, let's. Body percussion means using our bodies as instruments. Playing our own bodies sounds a bit strange, but here's how we would do it. This is an example of a body percussion piece. It's written in a grid, just a bit like how music would be written on manuscript. You can see the stamps, knee taps, claps and clicks written in the grid. I'm going to play the metronome down here so that you can get the beat and listen to it. Here's our beat. Now in a minute, I'm going to stop that beat and I'm going to continue the beat and count it in for you as I go through the actions following the music as it's written. Listen a little while longer. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So it's a kind of medium tempo. So if I was beating along with that, I'm now tapping that with my toe. So it would be stamp, stamp, tap, clap. Stamp, stamp, tap, clap. 
stamp, stamp, tap, clap, click, 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 clap. Okay? So, keep beating that. One, two, three, four. You can tap your toes along with me. One, two, three, four. Let's say the words together. Okay, ready? One, two, three, and. Stamp, stamp, tap, clap. Stamp, stamp, tap, clap. Stamp, stamp, tap, clap. Click, 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 clap. This time, we're going to put in the actual sounds. We're going to use our percussion instruments or our body. I'll count you in again. One, two, three, and. Stamp, stamp, lap, clap. Stamp, stamp, tap, clap. Stamp, stamp, tap, clap, click, 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 clap. This time, I'm not going to say anything. I'm simply going to tap out the beat for you and you're going to do it along, okay? You can say the words out loud if that helps you, okay? So you're trying it on your own while I tap the beat for you. I'll count you in. One, two, three, and... How did you find that? Was it tricky? It probably will be because it's the first time you've done it and the tempo was quite fast. It wasn't a slow tempo. Let's have a look at another one. This one's a little bit easier. Again, in a grid, you can see the stamps and claps and taps. If you look in the bottom corner, we can see some double taps. There are two pairs of legs in each box. That means a double tap. Tap, 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 tap. Okay. One and two and. So I'm going to set the timer again and listen as I'll talk you through it and then you can give it a go. Got that. I'm tapping the beat with my toe. One, two, three, four. Let's say it out loud together. Here we go. Stamp, 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 clap, tap, 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 tap. A little bit tricky there at the end, but I like those running notes when you hear them. They make a nice rhythm. Let's try it again. Here we go. One, two, three, and. Stamp, 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 clap, tap, 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 tap. Okay, now you're going to try it for yourself. Again, I'll tap the beat for you and you're going to do the actions and you can shout out the words as well if it helps you. I'm going to tap your beat and I'll count you in. Here we go. One, two, three. And how did you do that time? Did you find that rhythm easier than the last one we did? It, that might have been a little bit easier than the last one. And you probably noticed the two tunes that I used were Old Lang Syne and Scotland the Brave. Familiar tunes. So if I just take Scotland the Brave while it's there, you have da 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 And how it would fit in is stamp, 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 clap. Tap, 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 tap. Sounds a bit funny when I do it like that, doesn't it? <laughs> but that's how it would fit along with the music. It's all fine trying these things with me here, but it does make it quite difficult. So what I'd really like you to do is have a go for yourself. In the announcement I put on Teams today, you'll find a few links that will take you to some really fun lessons 
where you can try out, can try out some body percussion. You're going to visit Mrs Jones's channel. It's her music we've used in today's lesson, Scotland the Brave and Old Lang Syne. I'm going to let you go and try it live for yourself along with her. And you might find that useful. And then you might get onto other videos that you like as well. Have a go. I know you're going to love it. So we've come to the end of our lesson. What did we learn today? Well, we learned about beat and we learned about rhythm. We also learned about what body percussion is and how all of them can work together making music. I really hope you've enjoyed that. It's a tricky part of learning, to be honest, in music. Go off, have a go at the videos yourself and then come back and see me next week.